गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट प्राइम इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स सी व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम इज सो इन द प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन एम क्रॉस एन टू डी मैट्रिक्स ओके एम क्रॉस एन मैट्रिक्स इज गिवन फॉर फ्रॉम एवरी सेल यू कैन क्रिएट नंबर इन द फॉलोइंग वे फ्रॉम एवरी सेल ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एवरी सेल वी कैन गो टू एट डायरेक्शन ओके सिलेक्ट अ पार्थ फ्रॉम दैम and append the digit in the path to the number being formed by traveling in the direction note that the numbers are generated at every step for example if the digits along the path are these then there will be three numbers generated that is 1 then 1 and 9 together which is 19 and then 191 okay so we need to return the most frequent prime number greater than 10 out of all the numbers created by traversing the matrix and if there is no prime number we need to return minus 1 If there are multiple prime numbers with the highest frequency, like if there are multiple uh, prime numbers with the same frequency, right? Uh, same highest frequency, then we need to return the largest among them. Okay. So I hope you understood the problem. If not, just pause the video, read it again. Um. So let me quickly uh, write this test case. So the test case which is given is this one one one. One one nine one. Uh, sorry, this is nine, and then one one. Okay, so this is the matrix which is given. Okay, zero one two, zero one. Okay. All right. Fine. So. now what we need to do is basically we can traverse from every cell cell so we can start the traversal from every cell i can start the traversal from this cell or from this cell and from every cell i can go to eight directions these are the eight directions okay so uh, i can go to every direction so for example let's say i am at this cell i go downwards so now if you see very important thing is the question is that we cannot change the direction during the move so what does that mean it means that if i have, uh, if i am going down i can only go down from this 9 i cannot go here okay in one move like basically so let's say if i am starting from this 1 i go to 9 so my number is 19 then i go since i am going downwards so i can go down only i go to 1 and it becomes 191 so the numbers which i got was firstly initially 1 then we have 19 and then 191 okay now similarly let's say from this one uh, since i can go to any of the eight directions right from this one now let's say i am going left so if i go left i can go to this one and the number becomes 11 which is also a prime number so similarly we need to just find out all the primes okay we need to first of all find all the prime numbers all the prime numbers which can be formed by traversing from each cell okay and then whatever the frequency like the highest frequency for some particular prime number for example if you see here uh this 19 right 19 is a prime number 19 this diagonally also it's being made like 19 then this 19 is being made here also so let me just write it like this so 19 first like this 1 and 9 then the diagonally 1 and 9 because we can move in all the directions so from 1 we go downwards like diagonally downwards then from this 1 to 9 this one from this 1 to upwards if from this one if we go upwards then this 19 from here we go like this 19 so similarly you will be see, seeing that there are 19 times uh like sorry you have to return the most frequent prime number okay so most frequent prime number is the is 19 which is being made okay so i hope you understood the problem uh, just pause the video think how you can approach it let me just quickly write the test case again so the test case is 19 One, one. Okay, one, one. Then nine, nine. One, one, nine, nine, and one, one. 
okay so see now what we are going to do is see we will traverse on like all cells so we will have a nested loop which will iterate on rows other loop which will iterate on columns and we will go to every cell basically so arr of i of j or matrix whatever is there so it will be matrix okay so we will go we will go to each cell and from that cell we have eight directions okay in which we can move so once we get to a particular cell from that cell we will have a, another for loop which will go iterate on all the eight directions okay all the eight directions now see from this one we cannot go upwards obviously because it will be out of bound so we will go to only those cells which are valid okay we will have a check to check uh, to validate whether that you know coordinates are possible or not okay so uh, once we get once we have a choose we once we choose the direction we will only go in that direction so we will go to each direction and another while loop inside it to just go to go in that direction only again and again until we reaches the you know we go out of bound or like we should be in bound only okay and one by one we will just increment the coding and one as we are moving to other other cell we will be making the number which and we will just check if it is prime if it is prime we will store its count because we need to know the highest frequency prime right so we have to have a some somewhere we can store the count so just think about it where we can store the count so we will be using a hash map to store the count of prime numbers which are occurring so if 19 is coming we will just store its count to be 1 okay so let me just dry run for one cell okay uh, you bet you will better understand uh, if i can have some other test case let me just check okay we have this test case let's take this one okay so let me quickly write the test case 9789789784656286 okay let's say ki i am starting let's say i am starting uh, at this cell i'm currently at this cell so my i is let me just do indexing 0 1 2 0 so my i is 1 oh sorry my i is 0 the row index and j is 1 which is the column now i have eight directions so what all eight directions i have let me just uh, see the coordinates so these are all the eight direction coordinates okay so 1,0 like it will be the, like this so minus 1 comma 0 okay 0 comma 1 0 comma minus 1 and so on okay like this so let's say i am currently my current coordinates i will take variables current x so it will be 0 and current y is 1 let's so i will iterate on all the eight directions one by one so let's let me take this direction first so my dx is 0 and dy is oh sorry my dx is 1 and dy is 0 okay so i will add these into the current coordinate so that i can go to the next one okay so dx added in cx it will become 1 and here it will become 0 so 1 comma 0 are the new coordinates okay basically uh, i'll go this side here okay so from this one first of all i go to uh, diagonally downwards so uh, it might temporary i will take a number temporary my temporary number will be the current value multiplied by 10 plus the new the new value where we are going so it will become 74 so if you see 7 and 4 are the new is the new number and we will check then that whether 74 is prime or not so 74 is not prime because obviously it's divisible by 2 so this 74 we will not consider okay now 
again remember we have to okay so now from this see now again we can go infinitely in this direction okay so what i will do in this cur current coordinates again i will just add dx and dy which is zero so this will come 2 is and 0 so 2 comma 0 coordinates now if you see 2 comma 0 is out of the bound of this matrix right so uh, one second it was 1 comma 0 right so 1 comma 0 sorry my bad i have to i going here so it will be we have to go here okay i have just mistakenly so i, I hope you are understanding like what basically i am doing here so let's say if we go in this direction we will again add the coordinates in this direction and if th those go out of bound we will just stop and we will proceed to the next direction so in this way we will be basically moving ahead in any of the direction like here we go to the next direction and all and we will be simultaneously creating the number so 7 into 10 plus 6 will become 76 and then we will check whether this is prime or not so this is not prime then let's say 7 6 we go to the next cell so 7 into 10 plus the previous number basically we will multiply by 10 and the new number we will add so it will be 768 now again this is not prime okay now um, let's say we go to 7 we are here at 7 and we go to the left direction so number will become 7 into 9 plus 10 which is 79 now 79 is prime so we will in the hash map we will store 79 and it's count as 1 initially okay now similarly you we will go to each cell and we just go to all the eight directions from that cell so i hope you understood the approach and uh, let's quickly see the code uh, you better understand and i would highly recommend to dry run the code once uh, otherwise it will be confusing for you so this is the function which is given and the matrix i have taken all the eight directions here in this list we are cal cal calculating so i'll just zoom it we are calculating the rows we are calculating the columns and i have taken a hash map okay then we go to each cell in the matrix i take these two variables to store the current coordinates and the value which is at that index okay at that coordinates then we go to all the eight directions one by one and for each direction i will just add in the coordinates the next like basically the next coordinates from that cell wo what all the coordinates will be and until those coordinates are valid we will keep on calculating the next number okay so we'll just basically traverse in that direction so temp temp, temp i will calculate and if it is greater than zero and if it's prime just add in the hash map because that could be one of our answer okay otherwise now so temp for the next iteration the current temp so for example your temp is here if you see 76 like current temp is 66 now for next when you go to 8 this 76 is your new value and you have to multiply this with 10 and add 8 okay so increment uh, because here we are multiplying val right so temp value now will go to val and again increment your coordinates now once this is very important step guys now once you have traversed in all the eight directions from that coordinate okay now what you have to do is uh, sorry once you have traversed in a particular direction from that like for that direction now you have to again move back to the original seven to go to the other direction okay to go in another direction so for that you have to uh, again update your value with the matrix value initial matrix value okay so that now you can go to other direction and update your cx and cy also because now uh, you just need to go back basically what happened here is you were so see here let me just remove it what was happening you from this 7 you go to 6 you go to 8 so your value is now 768 and your cx is somewhere around like out of bound okay it will be uh, 3 comma something cy okay 0 3 comma something like that 3 comma 1 sorry now 
now you have to go again to 7 so that you can go in other direction so for that you need to update your value to 7 again and your cx should be again your this coordinate which is 0 comma 1 so cx should be 0 and cy should be 1 why you are doing this so that now 7 can go to other direction okay because we have to traverse in all 8 directions so this thing you have to do okay so once you have done with this now you just go to hash map all the keys in the hash map and uh, sort it in reverse order because uh, if you remember here if there are multiple prime numbers with highest frequency you have to return the largest prime number so that's why I've, I've sorted it in reverse order if the frequency is greater than the current count just increment update the count and answer accordingly with the key value and return the answer so I hope you understood this problem and the approach it's a good problem uh, let me know in the comments if you have any doubt, uh, if you found the video helpful, please like it, subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.